Welcome to Long Arm Wednesday. I'm Laura Lynn of the Mama Pop Quilt Shop and we're very happy to see you here today. Today we're working on a customer quilt. This is Allison's quilt and we actually did this project. This is her pixelated um, a snowflake, a flower, it could be really anything. It just it was just pixels put together. We did it as a 12 hour live stream. Maybe we can uh, put a little link to that so you can see how it came together and the free pattern. And uh, this is her creation and I am just quilting it up. So I've got a really nice, um, it's, uh, it's called Bed a Buddy, but, and that's what I'm stitching out in the borders. And what I've already done is I've already quilted this quilt in one direction and worked on the borders. Now I'm working on the last two of the borders. So we're just gonna get Walt to resume here. And then what I've done on the inside is a leaf with hummingbird. And it looks really, really nice. And the thread we chose is seafoam green. So you can kinda see how pretty that green color thread there is. And that's what's going on the back and the front. Isn't that gorgeous? I don't usually always get to share the, the color with you because it's on the machine. <laughs> and this is doing just like a little curl and it's got like a little heart that comes to, together with it and I like that being like as it was all coming in towards the, the, the quilt. So all the tips of the heart are all coming in towards the center. It's got some nice movement on it. I wanted to give this a nice little big border to go around where the hummingbirds were and just kind of frame out the whole project. Now when I did the borders, the, when I had it loaded the first time around, I did all the way to the end. As you can see it's already stitched here. You might be able to see it stitched here and stitched on the other end. So we're only covering a little section. So if we had five or six repeats on the outer edges, we don't want five or six repeats in here because it's gonna make it too squished. So we wanna make sure we're adjusting for that and so the sizes look very similar. Okay. Just a matter of process, laying it out and, uh, and making sure that you're happy with the results um, as, it's, as it's going, or before it stitches really. Other than that, you friends with the seam ripper for a while. <laughs> we don't want that. <laughs> I'm loving this thread. Absolutely. Seafoam. Seafoam is what it was. Gorgeous. I just think it really brings out a lot of the green in the quilt. The other is mainly, mainly prominently blue and white. I think it just helps bring out that little bit more of the green and just makes it pop up. Love all this fabric in here. It's gorgeous. Now it can look like, I say, a sunflower, a poinsettia. Um, there's many flowers in the garden that you could take inspiration from color-wise and, and do this project. It ends up being 66 inches by 66 inches, so perfectly and lovely square. This project actually was beautifully squared, so well done, Allison. And it's just fun to be able to just, you could have just done an edge to edge all the way through this. You could have done a snowflake, just do loops, a meander, anything, anything would have suited this project. Especially if you're making it to be a flower, you could always add like the hummingbird that would go towards a flower. That's how, what I was thinking about. And then some beautiful leaves. There's two hummingbirds that get stitched out here and they're good size, they're good size. And it could have been really easy to be able to quilt this quilt to death, like just to make it like micro quilting all the way around. But that's, I'm, that's not what she wants. Just want something pretty to cuddle with, or hang on the wall, or to give away as a gift. Or even sell. Beautiful. Absolutely love that thread color. So pretty. And it pops so nicely on that white. And it's just going to make its way. You can hear where it's going over through the seams, and sometimes where it's heavy seamed. The machine's working, it's working hard. I 
And I could have sectioned this out as it was on the long arm, done a section, stretched it or uh, rolled it, done another section, done another section, but then it's not always guaranteed those lines are gonna line up. So I find it easier and just mentally um, feel like I'm finishing the project correctly is by doing what I want on the one side and then when I need to work on the side borders, then I take it and I trim it to, to where I can fit, fit it back on the, the quilt or the long arm the other way and then work on the other two sides. I just think it gives a cleaner project. I mean, there are some patterns that can easily match up, very easy peasy, and if you click in on the zones, they're good. But this is a bit of the swirly. I just didn't want to, just didn't want to take the chance. So do it, do it right. Absolutely gorgeous. Almost to the other side. It is a gorgeous day out here today. We got some seeds in the ground over the weekend. We're excited. We put some uh, bird netting up this time around. Hopefully prevent the um, the squirrels from um, from taking over. <laughs> All right, now you can see where it's lining up with the other section that went the other direction. Like I say, all those little heart tips are pointing towards the center. Now, I was trying to think if I've ever used this stitch out before. I don't think I have. I don't think I have. Beautiful. So that's the one side done. We'll lock in our stitches there. Machine locks, and then we put in a couple extra. We'll trim that. And then we take our little clamps off the sides. Here, I'll put this over here so you can see one of the um, hummingbirds there. I take the other clamps off and then we're going to roll it to the other end. And that way you can get a little look at Miss Allison's beautiful project. Ooh. Unlock it and then slowly crank it. Don't want to rush this process. You want to make sure this, the quilt stays nice and taut throughout the whole process. Same as if you were to quilt on your domestic machine. You want to make sure your quilt project is nice and taut and there's nothing gonna be flipping and flopping. So I'm gonna make sure I'm trying to get it past. There, lock it into place. Got a little bed and flopped under there, that's okay. And then we have this space right here to work with. So I'm gonna section that out like I did with the first one, but first we're gonna get all the clamps and stuff on. And then I'm gonna set it to program to stitch. And that is Miss Allison's beautiful project. Okay. And what I'll do, since I stitched that, the other one with the heart going this way, I'll do a flip so the heart ends up going this way. Okay. Isn't that neat? So exciting. Want to thank every single one of you for hanging out here and spending your time with us here at the quilt shop and, and hanging out with us on our live streams at Saturday at 1 p.m. We're always working on something fun. It's always been a scrappy adventure. We have a stash. We should use it. It's nice to get new fabrics and fabrics that are given to the shop, but you still have to bust the stuff you already have. <laughs> So thank you, everybody. Big hugs to you. Hope you have a fantastic day. Enjoy the week. Enjoy the sunshine. Get out there. Just watch something grow. Even just watch the grass grow. <laughs> Take care, everybody. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.